Today we're talking about Garuk Apex Predator in Oathbreaker and trying to match him to a signature spell. For 5 black green, he starts at 5 loyalty. Plus 1, destroy another target planeswalker. Plus 1, put a 3-3 three, three black beast creature token with death touch onto the battlefield. Minus 3, destroy target creature, you gain life equal to its toughness. Minus 8, target opponent gets an emblem with, whenever a creature attacks you, it gets plus 5 plus 5 and gains trample until end of turn. Ugh, 7 mana is a lot. This is a powerful card, no doubt, but 7 mana is really steep. We are in green though, so if we can focus on ramping it out by like turn 5 let's say, it's just gonna dominate the game from there. Being able to destroy opponent's Oathbreakers every turn as a plus ability no less, wow. I love the idea of a deck using mana dorks to accelerate your mana, getting Garuk out real early, then plussing him, plussing him, plussing him until you get to that minus 8 and turning those little mana dorks into giant creatures when they attack the opponent who's unlucky enough to get that emblem. Now, all of Garuk's abilities are really good, very useful, but nothing really screams synergy to me when it comes to signature spells. Because of his steep mana cost and all the resources we'd have to put into getting it out as fast as possible, a signature spell that we could cast for free would help us make up for lost time. Deadly Grolic is the best, I think. Exile target creature for free, very good. Even the second time you cast it, when it costs you two because of commander tax, it's still really good. Massacre could be great too, and it's way more budget friendly. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. You can cast this for free if an opponent controls a plains and you control a swamp. I feel like that's gonna be most of the time, but you know, it's not gonna be all the time. I like that it does not kill the beasts that Garuk makes. In fact, you can build the whole deck so it doesn't kill any of your creatures. Obscuring Haze is a fog that you can cast for free because it would really stink to finally get your Garuk out and then lose him to combat the next turn. Noxious Revival to get back a key card or Dark Triumph to pump your whole team are also worth a mention. Moving away from free spells, Golgari Charm is always good. For black, green, it's an instant. Choose one. All creatures get minus one, minus one till end of turn. Destroy target enchantment. Regenerate each creature you control. That even seems kind of flavorful, considering Garuk is a planeswalker with lots of different generically good options. And while we're talking about flavor picks, in Garuk's Wake for nine mana, destroys all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. Because if you can get to seven mana, why not nine, right? Or the other option with Garuk and the art, Return of the Wild Speaker for five mana, choose one, draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control, or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. Beast Tribal could be another direction you could take the deck because Garuk makes beasts. Curious Herd and Fresh Meat both make 3-3 beast tokens. Neither are super reliable at doing that though. I do love Azuri's Predation for 8 mana. For each creature your opponents control, create a 4-4 green Phyrexian beast creature token. Each of those tokens fights a different one of those creatures. And Vitality Charm, which can regenerate target beast. And a great generically good option, Heroic Intervention, permanents you control gain hexproof and indestructible till end of turn. Always good. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my Garuk Cursed Huntsman ideas video. So you can click that and I will see you there.